Welcome back. You're watching Masha Prime. I'm Rida Chabad Karim. Residents of Western Kenya on Thursday benefited from free eye care comes courtesy of Al Hisan Hospital in partnership with Helping Hand for Relief and Development. The partnership saw thousands of residents save thousands of shillings restoring their sight. Today, we'll take a look at Ali Hassan Medical Center, which has been offering exceptional services to Western residents. Ali Hassan Hospital in Mungoma County, one kilometer off Kimaiti Market Center, was established in 2018 by Muslim physicians to help uninsured citizens, has been a relief to less fortune Kimaiti residents since it has reduced health cost among the patients. My name is uh, Dr. Mohammed Hassan Musa. I'm a pharmacist. I graduated in 89. And I think in 2010, I was involved with a group that was doing uh, community social responsibility. So we decided as a group to start this project of the Alisan Health Center here in Kimaiti. And we started it in 2018. A group of friends were working in, in Nairobi. And uh, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, we slowly started building the foundation. And by 2019, this structure was up. This structure was up in, by 2019. So mainly, I think, uh, we looked at a scenario where we did in 2019 the medical camp within the premise of the building. Majina naitwa Lucy Makoha. Mimi ni chief wa Napara location. Na nashukuru Al Hassan Hospital hii imeweza kutusaidia kama jamii. Na tunashukuru sana wafadhili wa the Muslim community kwa kutufikiria sisi kama wananapara na wakatuletea facility ya mara nyingi nafikiri wameweza kupata huduma hapa uh, changamoto haiwezi kukosa labda kifedha uh, kwa sababu lazima walipie lakini wengi wanasema ni afadhali kwa sababu hata huduma wanao tafuta labda ukienda kule Eldoret utaambiwa karama ya juu the facility which was started as free medical camp center has grown to modern health center with ultra modern lab equipment and it was opened by the CAS uh, chief administrative officer dr rashid Aman on the 29th december 2021 and we equipped it it has got a fully fledged lab and uh, we were looking at the maternity health for the, our, our ladies, our mamas, our pregnant mothers. We had, we have a, a good ultrasound machine and a fully fledged pharmacy. We have a clinic of SAR handling it, specialized in uh, delivering uh, babies. So we really started working in 2022 to help the people. We had one issue that we could see that even with a low-cost hospital, because the hospital is a low-cost hospital, but the patient still cannot afford 200 shillings. We have, we're able to do proper lab. We're able to check uh, the blood specimens, which means we will be able to know quickly whether the patient has different ailments. So having a fully-fledged lab with a hematology machine and a biochemistry machine, uh, it gives us the comfortability to know if the patient has got a kidney ailment. We are able to get the liver function tests and uh, the normal blood to know whether somebody has got malaria and others. So the, our lab is fully automated to be able to conduct all diagnostic tests. Now that is one area. We are also clearly able to conduct deliveries here. So maternity uh, is something else that the, the community can look forward to. Antinatal is done here. Then the primary health care, where the children are being seen and the adults, normal lower chest infections. So primary health care is also. So we are able to cover that range. 
laboratory services tuna offer in fact all laboratory services plus na tuko pia na ultrasound eh, na sasa hizi tuko uh, registered for outpatient but we are looking in for inpatient the hospital has not only benefited area residents but also people from Busia County, Kakamega and Bungoma County at large. Now our location, as we are saying, we are about five to six kilometers from the junction to MIT. And the junction to MIT is halfway be probably be, we are closer to Malaba. So when you come from Bungoma you reach Kimaiti and we're probably 10 to 15 kilometers away from Malaba. We are off the Kimaiti Junction, four to five kilometers. Which means we are very accessible from Malakisi Sirisia, which is just probably another 10 to 12 kilometers away. Luakaka could be about 15 kilometers away. So these poor areas were well located. And in terms of Busia, when you get the tarmac, we are about 20, 30 kilometers away from, from Busia. So our location, as you're saying, is is within an area that the population is poor. I would, that's why I'm, I'm happy being here uh, as opposed to being in the towns. There is Bongoma town, Busia, Malaba. We are five to six kilometers inside KMIT. And if you look at the population, it's a poor community. And uh, apart from Wale Wahapo Karibu, we have been receiving clients from as far as uh, Mumiasi and Harambe and on this side as from uh, uh, Tororo. Among the rare services offered at Alisan Hospital are free medical camps which are done annually by professional doctors. So we decided that we would want to do this event in Western Kenya. I come from Bongoma, I was born here. And my parents did uh, their business in, in Bongoma. They had a workshop, motor vehicle spares. So the main theme of this group, Alisan Community Development Organization, decided to focus on Western Kenya, specifically this area of Bungoma County. Sirisia, Kimilili, Sango, Big Tree, the whole of the Kitali region as well. What was the main focus? The shape were involved that they needed to increase the knowledge of the students and the imams in this region. Now, being part of this group, I came with them on this site and my focus was when they were doing the Quran competition and me as a pharmacist, the local community of course requested me to also do a free medical camp. So I was able to organize some pharmaceutical companies in Nairobi, Glaxo Welcome, where I used to work before Abbott Laboratories. And most of the pharmaceutical generic companies like Bilova, Cosmos, who decided they could give me some drugs so that then I can conduct this free medical camp. And uh, it, this began in 2016. So in 2016, I was able to treat uh, the local community here. And the local community, you can see it for yourself, there's a poor community and it went very well you find satisfaction when you find that you're able to treat most of the ailments in 2023 free medical camp alisan health center organized free eye checkups and surgery three-day event that commenced on 27th of april but it gives us tranquility this is where you want to be because you will see the results of you treating the poor patients and you can see the glow on their faces when they are well we have done cataract operation in 2019 where 52 patients were surgery operated. This yesterday, we conducted 18 cataracts, which were all successful. So today, uh, the doctors are going to open their patches and you'll see the glow in their faces when a patient who has not been able to see, a poor patient for that matter, gets a free surgery of cataract which in many places may be 15, 20,000 beyond their reach. And I think when we conduct the surgeries, so our specialty I, it tells you that with the partnership of the Mugoma County, the poor people will be helped. Nilikuja tu kama nikisa tu inasika 
ninaona inashika pande mmoja lakini nakaa na hayo shauri ya pesa hakuna hakuna kutoa hapo chochote bana nisaidia tu bure ninaomba kwa Mungu epone nione mai uh, katika Bungoma county uh, hii shida ni shida kubwa sana ambayo inaathiri wazee wale ambao wako na ugonjwa wa sukari pia wale ambao wameweza kugongwa na pata matatizo ya cataract na wengi hawawezi ku access services kwa sababu hospitali ambayo inafanya operation ni Bungoma peke yake na Ubuye wengi ambao wanatoka mashinana hawawezi kupata hii services so tunashukuru wale waisana ambao wameweza kujitokeza leo hii wameweza kuja kufanywa hii operation operation ya cataract na kuwa rahisi na dungwa shindano tu alafu tunawasha kumekuwa na theories mingi watu wanafikia maybe macho inatolewa inawekwa kando alafu inaoshwa ni operation ambayo inachukua dakika nane mtakuwa umeoshwa na siku ya pili unaona vizuri sana Dr Mohamed assured the service beneficiaries that the facility will be fully registered by NHIF before the end of May to enhance service delivery to its clients with the now our partnership with the county uh, governor Lusaka and uh, his team I can see her seen going to the next level because we have coordinated with them uh, and we will get support from them in light of maybe expansion and getting these patients on the NHIF also so that they can be able to afford and I think our governor we pray that he will come and also open the facility as well because we intend to have a theatre and uh, we have to equip the theater with some machines, anesthesia machines, a ventilator machine, and uh, sort of a fully fledged theater that can now be able to conduct surgeries there as well. We also want to have female and male wards, and we need some land for expansion. And I'm um, very hopeful that with our hardworking uh, county governor, Lusaka, we will take this hospital up to level 5. For Prime News Match Television, I'm Philip Simeo.